the AL wildcard situation right now is pretty crazy, and we're going to go over what is exactly going on. But just for a little quick, quick sneak peek, there's potential for a four-way tie for those two wildcard spots. So right now we have the Yankees, Red Sox, Seattle, and Toronto currently battling for those two wildcard spots in the American League. The Yankees honestly control their de uh, destiny the most. The Yankees, in order to not make it, have to lose out. Do I expect that to happen, especially considering they're playing the Rays and the Rays have really nothing to play for? No, I expect them to get one win. But at the time of making this video, the Rays are up on the Yankees 3-1, to one, but it's only the second inning. Uh, and they have a record of 91-69. and 69. Next, you got the Red Sox, who are currently playing against the Washington Nationals, who are not a very good team. Um, the Red Sox, if they win one game, they're assured to make it in to at least the tiebreaker scenario. If they win two games, they're in the American League, and then the, the playoff race is over. The wild card is set if the Yankees and Red Sox both get to 92 wins. That's the key. 92 wins puts you in the playoffs. But <coughs> what happens if they don't win? Well, if the Mariners are able to win two games against the Red Sox, or if the Red Sox lose out, potentially, and make they're both at 90 wins, they would then play a tiebreaker. The tiebreaker is going to be one game. Um, they play it in, I think they would play it in Boston. Yeah, I believe they'll play it in Boston, and that'll decide who makes it into the wild card. But what gets really crazy is this. So these are some of the scenarios that can happen. If... Seattle, Toronto, and Boston all end at 90 wins. There's a three-way tie for that second wildcard spot. Oh, I was right. So Team A would host Team B, and then the winner would host Team C in order to determine who gets that third wildcard spot. If they're playing for one spot. If they're playing for two spots, then, for example, if the Yankees stop at 91 and both Boston and Seattle or Boston and Toronto make it to 91 wins, Team A would play Team B. The winner would make it into the postseason for that first wildcard spot. And then Team C would host Team B to play for that second wildcard spot. If there's a four-way tie, which is very unlikely, but it is very possible. Uh, I, don't, I don't see it happening. There's no way the Yankees lose all three games to the, to the race. But, so what would happen is Team A would host Team B, and then Team C would host Team D. And then the winners of each of those respective games just go in. <coughs> that one's simple. Um, I think we're definitely going to get a tiebreaker at the end of this. Um, the Red Sox have been a quieter team. Seattle honestly should have tied it up. But yesterday they fell to the Angels, which really hurt them and their chances. But I'm most excited for a three-way tiebreaker. For three ways. Listen. Seattle just needs to win one game. Toronto needs to win one game. And Boston needs to lose out. Or Boston wins one and Seattle and Toronto both win two. The remaining two games. Pandemonium. Give Boston two wins. Give Seattle two wins. Give Toronto two wins. And the Yankees lose out. The AL wild card is wild. I mean, bonus baseball. Quint's essential bonus baseball, honestly. I mean, you're going to see some game 163. Well, is it really game? Yeah, it's game 163. Or game 164. To determine the wildcard spot, we get that three-way tiebreaker. Yeah, I want to see it. I want Seattle to sneak in, man. No one thought Seattle would do anything. <clears throat> and then they just went on an absolute tear in September, now putting themselves in a great position to win. Their expected win-loss was 75-85. and 85. They are currently 89 and 71. That is crazy. Congratulations to the Mariners. I want to see y'all in the playoffs. 